Before we get started on today's video, please be sure to like and subscribe and click the bell notification so you're updated on all the latest videos. What's up guys? Welcome back to Rewatch Reality. Today we're going to be discussing Kevin and Tiffany from Love After Lockup. Just to give you guys a heads up, this storyline is drama, 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 and that's exactly how we like it. Okay guys, so this season kicks off with Tiffany still incarcerated. Before Tiffany even has a chance of getting out, there's already a twist to the storyline. Turns out Kevin has a crazy ex-girlfriend named Kayla. Kevin says the two are only friends with benefits, but the way Kayla's acting, it doesn't seem like it's just friends. The two had a very toxic, on-again, off-again type of relationship. Kevin's trying to say it's just friends with benefits, but Kayla, dude, she doesn't look like she's backing off Kevin anytime soon. Oh, God. Speaking of the devil, of course, man. I mean, God, she won't stop. Jesus. Hey, Liz, is just an ex-girlfriend of mine. I don't know. Less information I give Kayla about anything to do with my life is better for me and anybody around me. And then it turns into these toxic relationships at times. Let me go check it out. I'm finna call the police on you right now. I told you I was doing something. There ain't no bitch here. I'm doing something in here. What's up, Kevin? You want to talk? Because Kevin wanted to talk to me, okay? Kevin wants to talk to me all day. What's up, Kevin? I'm here. Tell me what's up. So, you're making a big mistake right now. No. Tell me what the up. Why? I with him, okay? You ain't gonna with him. Then about a week later, Kevin is out with his boys getting some drinks at the bar, decides that he's going to post to his Instagram story, and next thing you know, Kayla pops up. Some kind of GPS bull Google tracker on it, man. Everywhere we go, she pops up. Bam, she's there. It's like a stage five clinger, man. What are you doing here? Meeting some people yeah. up. You want to have a drink or something? Chill for a minute? My friend be here? I'm kind of in shock that you're out here. Wait. It's a coincidence. You're saying you don't want to me no more? I'm saying I want to be your you friend. You don't want to talk about me no more? How are you going to be my friend without wanting to me too. I don't, I mean, you know, I just have to keep my distance. Okay, that was a lot, right? Kevin had me over here thinking like he needs to figure out his situation because neither of the females know about each other and Tiffany's going to be getting out any day now. Okay, so now that we know about crazy ass Kayla, let's put our focus back on Kevin and Tiffany. Now we're going to fast forward to Tiffany being released and doing her time at the halfway house. And now it comes time that Kevin is supposed to pick her up on her release date. And she tells him that she doesn't want him to come anymore. Kevin is confused on why all of a sudden now she doesn't want him to come and pick her up. The whole thing isn't making sense to him. So he decides that he's going to show up anyways because he wants to see what's up. He's curious if someone else is there to pick her up. So Kevin's sitting there waiting. He doesn't see anybody pull up or Tiffany come out yet. But then out of nowhere, a truck pulls up. Turns out it's this guy named Curtis, and he actually is in fact there to pick up Tiffany. The worst part about this situation as Tiffany's walking out is she completely bypasses Kevin and walks to Curtis. Kevin's offended at this point, and with Curtis talking shit and the two of them going back and forth, it's just already not going to go good. Oh, that's your boo, huh? You looking like a loser. Oh, yeah, looking like a loser. Yeah, you're right. I am. That's what happened. Yeah, yeah. Take that dust ass home. Oh, hey, Tiffany, get up. Hey, you need somebody to be down for your side? Ever call me again. Then Kevin goes on to tell Curtis that why doesn't he come and make him shut up? Curtis continues to talk shit to Kevin, telling him he looks like a third grader, and then this happened. I'll knock your ass out. I don't know why I wasn't expecting that to happen. I'm not saying I thought Kevin was going to lose because I definitely wasn't thinking that, but I just did not think Curtis was going to be put to sleep. All right, guys, that's all I got for you today. Thank you so much for watching Rewatch Reality. Don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment below and let me know what you think about this whole situation. All right, till next time. Peace out.